imagine that you have a, a special notebook. Let's call it your decision journal. Every time you make a big decision, maybe it's buying a new car, choosing a job, or even starting a new diet, jot it down in this journal or notebook. But here's the key. Don't just write down what decision that you've made. Also write down why you made that decision. What were you thinking at that moment? What were your expectations as well? Now, fast forward a few weeks, months, or even a year. Open your decision journal and take a trip down memory lane. Look at each decision that you wrote about. How did it turn out? Was buying the car the right move at that time? Did the new job meet your expectations? This isn't about judging yourself. It's really about learning. It's about paying attention to the decisions that you make and why you made them at the time to help you in the decisions you're currently making or even future decisions. Also, it will help you understand if you make decisions based on what other people expect you to make or if you're making it based on your perception of what society, parents, culture wants you to make. And by doing this, you're doing something really powerful. You're becoming more aware of how you make decisions. You might start noticing patterns, like maybe you tend to make impulsive decisions or impulsive choices when you're stressed, or perhaps you overvalue certain things and undervalue others. This is incredibly valuable because the more you understand how you make decisions, the better your future decisions can be. It's like having a conversation with your past self to help your future self. And that's pretty cool, I would say. And it's so powerful and productive.